welcome back guys I bought something else all right guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to uh, do something a little bit different you haven't seen this before uh, not with me anyways but last week around I don't know Monday or Tuesday sometime I decided I wanted to get a motorcycle okay well I got one last night pick this one up this is a Hyosung GV650 and as you can tell, it's just a cruiser. Uh, great value for the price. Um, I've seen a lot of people comparing them to uh, higher brand, higher dollar sport bikes and other cruisers, obviously. Um, so we're going to build this bike because as you can tell, if you know me at all, you know that this is not exactly my style. But it does have a lot of the features that I originally wanted. So I wanted something newer-ish, at least. This one is a 2007, I believe. And it is a Korean-made bike. And from what I can tell, they're pretty good bikes. And uh, there's nothing wrong with this one. And this is probably one of the most comfortable bikes that I've ever sat on. I will say this is the first actual motorcycle that I've ever purchased for myself. Now in the past I have had a ton of dirt bikes. They've all been race bikes, 250s, 450s. I've had a ton of four-wheelers, Banshees, uh, 450 race four-wheelers, things of that nature. A lot of two-stroke stuff as well. But this is just a little bit different and I wanted to bring something new to the channel that would bring more viewers along with giving me more experience to do so. So this bike is quite sleek and low and comfortable. As you can see, um, it is a two seater at the moment, but it is going to be transformed into a one seater. And well, this bike is going to look 1 million percent different um, by the by the time that I'm done with it. So some of the features that I wanted was something that looked quite new. I didn't want to do a full restoration project and I wanted it to be reliable. This thing seems to be reliable. Then again, I don't know that much about these bikes, but it has the style that I want. This bike is a 650, so it's got plenty of power. And for stock, it sounds quite good too. I've never been a fan of these saddlebags or a second seat at all, but that's going to change very soon. But take a good look at this bike because this is the last time it's ever going to look this way. By the time I'm done with it, you will not be able to recognize it. You might not even recognize what type of bike it is at all if you're even familiar with this brand. Now I didn't want to start off with something that had a million problems and needed a full restoration and I found this bike uh, it was offered to me and I took the offer so what we're going to do with this bike is we're going to transform it from a boring cruiser to a stylish very sleek most likely blacked out everything uh, besides the chrome pieces everything else is probably going to be black uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to go satin or gloss black yet but we're going to go with a cafe racer style bike and it's going to be it's going to have like a kind of like a bobber style rear end on it um, but definitely going to keep the rear suspension I don't want to do hardtail like I said I want something comfortable that I can enjoy pretty much any time so guys with with that all being said we're going to go ahead and start taking things off that I'm not a fan of and see what we can do to transform this bike with literally zero money. Just taking stuff off right now and seeing how how much we can change it just by, just by taking stuff off. Run free and dive into the sky. Hear the wind crying.
right guys so as you can see it's already looking one million percent better more sporty less cruiser and since we took that muffler off you know we got to hear what it sounds like you can't just take off a muffler and then not listen to it i did put the battery back in of course For a stock exhaust system with no muffler, that sounds so much better than I originally anticipated. Um, I might just make a little chrome tip for that and leave the exhaust that way. I mean, it, it sounds pretty good. Uh, maybe like two inches long. Actually, maybe like one inch long. The shorter, the better. I just don't want that ugly little tip sticking out like that. It just doesn't go with the rest of the bike. So I took the mirrors off of the handlebars. Uh, they just, you know, unscrew, obviously. Um, I'm going to do a different style mirror. I'm not a fan of how high that those sit up, and we're definitely going to do different handlebars. That'll probably be the first thing that I order is handlebars because those just sit way too high uh, for my personal liking. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and take off this little cup holder thing. I think it would just look better without it. And I'm most likely not going to be carrying my drink with me uh, while I'm riding my bike. But if I do, I can always put it back on. So the bike did come with these extra mirrors here. But these things are just so ridiculously massive that there's just absolutely no way I would ever put those on there. So I'm going to have to order a set of mirrors too. Uh, preferably ones that clamp on the bars themselves, I'd assume. So on the forks, uh, where I took this windshield off, as you can see, there's some spacers here. And on the forks now, the bolts are too long. I could cut the bolts and make them shorter, but I really don't want to risk messing up the bolts. Uh, so what I want to do is take this windshield that I'm not going to use and I want to cut these off and then grind the welds off of them and then just reuse those as spacers. So I'm going to go ahead and order some handlebars, mirrors, some front signal lights, some rear signal lights, and also a rear tail light because I'm going to do an LED strip rather than uh, the big bulky one that's on it. And then I believe I have to have a reflector also, and then I will probably make a tag bracket for it so I don't have to order that. Um, but that pretty well covers it for today as much as we can really do for free um, I definitely will have to move the rear shock uh, both of them there's one on each side so I'm gonna probably uh, clearance the 
uh, subframe somewhere around this area and then I will build mounts for that another thing that we run into is whenever I put the shorter bars on it my seating position is going to be very uncomfortable uh, f because of the foot pegs so the foot pegs and the, the rear brake assembly is going to have to be moved back here uh, so what I've kind of got an idea of just off the top of my head is on this side on the other side it'll be pretty easy but on this side we want to have to uh, get some DOM tubing and come off of the frame right here through the exhaust and then the mount there will have to be hanging off of it um, and then I will fill in that part there um, but other than that I think that's going to be about it for today yeah guys thanks for watching uh, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notifications button so you know as soon as I upload this is just the very first of very many videos um, on this bike it's going to be a cafe racer type build like I said before and um, really excited to see how it all turns out if you have any questions or suggestions on parts or styles <coughs> or colors or whatever just let me know down in the comment section below if you have any websites where you specifically order parts for these uh, bikes uh, to turn them into a cafe racer uh, please let me know and I'll definitely check that out but make sure you guys hit like subscribe and share with all your buddies thanks for watching